Hey everybody, it's David here uh, with another episode of The Daily D. And today's topic is creating values and principles. So many people go through life without clearly understanding what they value clearly or what their principles are. So really what a value is, is you stating what you really believe in and a principle is going to be what guides you to that value. So you see, many people have values. I know that because they really stand for them, right? Like family first, <laughs> family, that's a value, right? And then their principle is nothing else matters besides my family. And in some respects that may be true, right? It just depends on the situation, but they don't really clearly identify that. That's usually the one that, that people identify the most. Maybe it's God first, maybe it's something. So we're gonna give some examples, but what I, what I like to do whenever I think about how do I get you and I to have our values clearly defined and the principles, which is the guiding statement that leads us to that value. How do I get you there? Well, let, let's start with what we'll call the end in mind. And I think about a whole life, meaning our whole life, not just one segment, not just today, not this year. I want it to be the whole life. And when I think about this, what I want you to think of is literally when you leave this earth. Now that sounds really morbid, but that's not what I mean. I don't want you to think about death, but I do want you to think about after death here, not wherever we go. <laughs> so let me, let me tell you what I mean. So what would you want people to say about you when you're gone? What would you want people to say about you when you're gone? That's a good statement. It's a good question. And it is a good question because if you think about this, what is it that you want? Because if you get that, then those values that you state right now, for an example, could be they were I'm trying to think. oh, here you go. They were funny. They were happy. They were smart. They were a giver. They were a creator. They were honest, they were committed, they were successful, they were rich, they were healthy. What do you want people to say about you? Because whatever you want them to say about you, we must live today. And how we live that and then transition that into a principle that's guiding us will really ensure that we do that in our lives. You see, if I were to look back at all the things that I've done over my life, I'm not happy about all of them. I'm not proud of all the things I've done. There are a lot of things in my life that I've done that I just regret, right? But I can't say that they didn't build me though. So even in some respects, even if I regret some of the bad things, they did make me who I am today. So now my job is to understand that whatever I do today makes me who I am tomorrow. I can start putting together a plan, a faith, a, a, a set of value systems and then principles. So let me give you two examples and then hopefully you can go off and create. I'm going to challenge you to create five. So here's, here's the first one. An example would be honest, honest, right? Honest, the real on the honesty, if I really were to say that really is they tell the truth even when it hurts. That's honest. And I want people to say when I'm done, you know, when I'm gone, he was an honest man who never shied away from telling the truth. That's what I want people to say. So that's my value. So every time I make a decision, for an example, if I have a decision to make and the decision is to that may harm somebody's feelings, but it needs to be said, then I must say what needs to be said because the truth is what I need to say, not something that would hide the truth, not something that would you know numb the pain, if you will. I need to push hard. So here's another one. How about this one? Um, challenge. Right? So when I put challenge here, I actually put it in my own statement, which is ask question. Oh, no, that's clarity. No, find the lesson in every adversity. So if somebody stated about me after my departure, if you will, I'd love for them to say something like he always, always sought to find the opportunity in every adversity. So every time he went through a tough time, he always said, hey, this is not the end of me. This isn't the, the worst that could happen. 
There's something to be learned here. Let's figure it out. You see, that's the, the, that's the principle I want to live by. So every time I come into an adversity, the first statement I could say is, what can I learn from this? Changes how I perceive the world and how things happen for me. You see, principles and values line up together. And creating your own economy really, really, really revolves around your value system. What you really believe. Because if you don't have any beliefs, you can't. Just to be clear, you can't get very far. And, and let me give you some, some, some closing remarks here because I did reference that many people have values and they just don't clarify them. They don't codify them. They don't put them on paper. They don't make things happen. And when I say that, it's because they value things that are probably not right, but they don't know that that's what they value because they've never been exposed to the thought or the concept of what a value is and how the guiding principles lead to that value. Like I just shared. What I just shared with you, not very many people know. So because of that, all they know is what they believe in their heart. I believe family above all else. I believe in protecting the things that I love. I believe in being happy. I believe in doing whatever it is I feel like doing. I believe in spending all my money. I, you know, these are not bad beliefs. These are values. I value, I value blowing money to get nice things. I value my family is first above everything else. I value good food over, over um, you know, good books. You see, you see how these are value systems and they don't know that and then their guiding principles lead them there. So whenever, whenever somebody pulls their attention towards one of those values, they follow it without blindly follow it. They just go in that direction. Why? Because in their hearts, their values have done. So what I would tell you to do, the reason I'm telling you to go to the end of life and say, what do I hope to people say about me is because I guarantee the value systems that you currently have now and the value systems that you want people to remember you for aren't in alignment right now. They're not. They're just not. And, and because of that, you need to start with the end and then bring it to today and every day from here forward and say, these are the values that I believe in. And this is what I'm going to do. So I hope this helps you in some respects because part of creating your own economy, one of the components I call faith and values. Now, faith obviously is something that's near and dear to my heart. I'm not going to discuss that in many of the videos because I believe faith is something that you find, right? Faith is the belief in something that's not real, but really, really you can feel in your heart. And I want you to get to the value proposition of this, which is the value and the principles, because it's something that I can really grip onto and hold on to here. So I hope this helps you. I wish you nothing but success, health, wealth, but most importantly, freedom. Thanks, guys.